Hey everyone, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is the culture study where we check out K-pop music videos and I give you my honest thoughts and reactions on them as both a video producer and as a lifelong K-pop fan and as a Korean American. Hi guys, my name is PD. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today we are checking out Knock by Yi Cheon. Uh, Cheon is back with, I believe, her first comeback. Uh, after her debut uh, late last year. So I'm excited for this because uh, I literally saw like the first one second uh, as I was pulling up this video and I was like, oh, what? Okay, this is how we're starting? Okay. Um, it sounds like it's gonna be a bit different from her debut, which I really liked her debut, but it didn't have what I was expecting from Taeyeon. And I feel like we're going to be getting that uh, from this time around. I really enjoyed it, though, regardless, because I like the focus on her vocals. But, uh, you, you know, you know, we're all here for some um, hypeness. So uh, before we get into the video real quick, um, I am taking a break on my Patreon uh, from releasing content, but uh, I'm taking a mental health break. Uh, if you guys want to support that mental health break, even like two dollars, like may seem like nothing, but it adds up and I would really appreciate it because I still have bills to pay. Uh, of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to, but if you would like to, uh, there's the link. Uh, of course, if you want to just subscribe, um, we will be back in June and um, that, that's just Patreon content. I'll still be reacting to YouTube here and there, but um, I appreciate everyone's support regardless of whether you support us uh, on Patreon or not. Uh, let's go ahead with the video. This is Knock by Yi Cheon, and this is your form of therapy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Love the hook already. Okay, so this song is perfect for her voice. This camera work is doing Cheo justice. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Sets are claustrophobic. Wow. Wow. Wow, a lot of these sets are really, really small. They did a great job at making it feel larger than life. Yes. 
No, no. No. Okay. Um This truly truly did he tell injustice. Uh, like I personally liked her debut, but I wouldn't say I was obsessed with it. But I liked it because I liked the focus on her vocals and I liked her actually giving us something different and against um, perhaps what is the societal expectations of her. But that is to say, the expectations of her and what is demanded of her is only purely because she dances like nobody fucking else like in the world. There is this vigor, this tenacity, but also this calm level of skill. And the way this camera work does her justice and it makes her seem like she invented dancing at this point. Oh my, I mean, as both a video producer and as a K-pop reactor, I've watched a lot of music videos. I've watched a lot of K-pop music videos. No one shoots K-pop dancing better than Koreans. I'll, I'll give you that, or at least the Korean industry. Um, no one, no video team, no director has ever made a dancer look as cool and as badass as Cheon did in this video. Um, so the director and the video team deserves a hats off. And with the wild zany camera work, I mean, it could easily become a visual mess. It could be confusing. It could uh, honestly hurt people's eyes, but I think they did a great job of actually keeping it still uh, like a, a relatively easy video to follow. Uh, and not being too completely wild and messy. And that little ending portion right there with the, oh, just the just the constant hyper cuts into every other uh, scene that she had up until this point. Oh my God. That is the cherry on top. Like there's a lot of fantastic dancers in K-pop. I'll give you that. But Taeyeon, Lee Taeyeon, and what made Aizawan so legendary is because Cheon as a dancer is just, she's got that cherry on top. She's got that little, little, that, that like there's a, there's a lot of amazing dancers, but then Cheon adds just that little cherry on top. And that little cherry on top is what separates, like it's, it seems like a nice little finisher, but it's actually what separates her, I feel like, from a lot of other idols. The passion, the strength, the years of experience, it's, it's incredible. I, I want to watch this again. I, I want to watch this again. Now, in terms of the song, I, I think the song's actually pretty simple. Uh, the lyrics are pretty simple. You know, it's uh, talking about knock it on your heart. Um, it's kind of like a cute, simple love song, but the way it's executed is anything but. So um, uh, I like the lyrics. But more than anything, it's the song and what it does for her uh, vocally. I, I think it makes her shine just as much as her debut song did. Um, and her dancing, obviously. So let's go ahead and watch this again. Just even, okay. So even this intro portion, it could have just been something else, but they do the... Uh, cutting between the different colors, the t -t -t already exciting. But when we come in right here, I think they were zoomed in on Mr. Blonde over here. Yeah. So this is a digital zoom and they're just like zooming out. And then na, 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 na. it's a really fast movement and then slow. -mo. So already just the uh, contrasting nature of that is really, really, really enticing. And uh, as opposed to the rest of the video, notice how the entire set is dark and there's only a spotlight right now on Taeyeon. Incredible. This director knows how to start a video. Holding on that singular shark, shot, and then until she knocks, then we're cutting. So taking it slow, taking it slow, taking everything slow. 
The only fast element they gave us was that first quick open zoom out. And then everything else. Cheon is playing this kind of like uh like like the like the um, like this whole relationship is kind of loving someone from afar and like trying to come together and it's that point before wow <laughs> this dancer is abs <laughs> <clears throat> it's that point before like you grow feelings and you confess to each other and so like there's a slowness to it but at the same time you suddenly start rushing as your feelings begin to develop or like whatever right and so the progression of both the song and the music video and like kind of like falling in love with somebody of that slow creeping buildup and then getting intense and faster, intense and faster, slow, intense and faster. And then it just bam, 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 at the end. That alone is a very hard, difficult thing to pull off. The mir tang, the push and pull as they say. And I think they did an incredible job with that. <laughs> <laughs> that move is so interesting. The positioning too. That like the 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 legs out the like the this move like I man I don't like like the position is so powerful and like the squat itself like that's something like maybe you would see with boy groups but even for a solo artist that's just so powerful and eye catching and the way the camera is like so angled down they do a great job of really like making it more intense. Interesting. Uh, something that I think they also do really well is the video for the most part, it's claustrophobic. Uh, everything, it's, it's all small rooms, but when the chorus comes in, get me high, much higher now, this portion, all of a sudden this nighttime set is Bam, daytime, big open sky. So uh, the video is also complementing her vocals. Her, her vocals like like uh, opening out like this. Ooh. Once again, the spotlight lighting. So what, what is she? She's supposed to be like a witch or a vampire or something? Like, I, I noticed that the, like right here, these look like spider webs. And then she's later drinking this red thing. And the red wardrobe she's in at the end feels more like a coffin. I don't know what that is. And then her eyes are glowing. And then oh, the camera work is like. Oh my god, the camera work's so awesome. Ooh, yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of. The quick hyper cuts right here. Oh, that's nice. They only give us a little here and then they give us a lot later. Oh, just the stamping. Again. Uh, I, I've talked about this in, in numerous other videos before, but when you have a camera angle low and it's, uh, or, or the positioning of the camera is low, but it's angled shooting high. And here, if you look, the set is extremely, extremely small. So is that mirrored set room that she's in. And a lot of these sets are claustrophobic, but what they, what they do is they shoot it with an extremely wide lens. So it gives it like this warped sort of out of this world sort of psychedelic view. And it's also making her movements look much more exaggerated and much more powerful. And then you're, uh, when you're uh, low and you're angling high, it, it, it's just kind of like an like a angle philosophy. If uh, you're low to, uh, shooting high, it makes people look much more powerful and dominating, right? Because when someone is crushing you, they're above you, right? And then when a camera is angled from high shooting low, it makes it like you're looking down on them. 
And so they are constantly making Cheon look powerful and look more intimidating as a dancer by constantly shooting the angle from low or at eye level. Eye level is the standard. And so the way they even come in right here is incredible. On the stamping? Oh, oh, oh. And I love how there is this strange percussion. It sounds like almost like a wooden block in the background. Just go, na, 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 na. And then... No, 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 no. I, I, I don't know what the pattern is. It's, it's like sparse, but the, it kind of feels like a, almost like a clock ticking at the same time. And the way the camera work moves on each knock is awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Her acting too. Oh, her acting too. She is so, so hot, this comeback. It, the, it, it's her energy. Oh my God. And obviously switching between like the cuter outfit and the much more cooler black athletic outfit. I love it. See, she feels more like a vampire here. Like this, like this feels, yeah, more like a coffin, more than a wardrobe. All right, and, and then, and then this is also where I'm going to compliment them. Uh, the CG background looks good. Thank fucking goodness, my God, it could have ruined this entire video, but the cinematography is consistent. Her, her skin color is a little paler than the rest of the video, but if you notice, uh, it's completely like in line with uh, the much more snowy area. Like the, it's a lot more cool and blue in the background. So uh, her skin tone being slightly paler actually consistently works with the video. We're creating once again, this spotlight effect. If you look at the lighting, you see how everything's dark in the background, but there's this spotlight on her. So, uh, the consistent spotlight lighting look. But then we, we, when we come into this shot, you can see that there is the giant moon in the background. And if you notice this edge light on her hair, on her shoulders right here, and the spill onto her arms right here, obviously they're not actually shooting out in the Arctic. They're shooting in a studio somewhere. But the lighting that they're capturing right there is is supposed to be representing the moon. And so when you look at this, one, there's it's creating three-dimensional space from the background, so it looks a little bit more real. And then there, the lighting is also motivated. So the lighting isn't just like, oh, there's lighting right here, but then it's a black night sky. It's like, why does she have lighting? It's like, oh, because it's the moon. The moon is lighting her. Obviously, we know it's not real, but that's what makes good CG and bad CG um, look, you know, good and look bad. It's stuff like motivated lighting. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, Taylor, I love you so much. Like this is this is <laughs> Oh my god, this is like that this is like that god tier performance. This is the kind of shit like Eyes of One was amazing and fantastic for many, many reasons. And it's because every member contributed something. Um it, it felt like a super group. Every member contributed to something that was truly fantastic. And the way Taeyun elevated the entire group as performers and dancers. Yeah, it was epic in Eyes of One, but Cheon always had that epicness within herself as well. And you have to understand that as a video producer, um, I, can, I can say like, if Cheon never got a video like this, I wouldn't even blame video teams. It's like, 
Do you know how hard it is to capture the true depths of a dancer's ability and like make them seem like, to me, she seemed like a dancing god in this video. And do you know how difficult that actually is? Especially when you have to shoot a music video and like there are there are different themes and lighting and all and like um, uh, styles that you, you gotta worry about. There's all sorts of things. So if, if there was never a video that could truly capture this, I would understand, but this video team did such an incredible job. Like I have been on my, eyes of one journey for like three years now or two two years now and like i i feel so you know i i, I recently wrapped up a uh, produce 48 a few months ago as well and i have just been so 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 like wanting to see this kind of a video for cheon and something that could capture her. It, it, it's not about her as a dancer. It's about her energy as a performer. And this really captured her presence. I think Icheon has one of the most, like, like I, in my opinion, just like quaking presences. Like I, like when she dances, like especially like watching her stuff on Produce 48, but like, you know, through Eyes of One and stuff, like when she performs, there is, there's this, I, I don't know. I, I personally feel this energy she gives off and it, it, it's kind of like crippling in a way. Like, like sh her presence is so strong, it suppresses my presence. And this video, the video, 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10. I really, really, really want to compliment this video team. Knowing how skilled Taeyeon is, I know how hard it has to be to make her look as good as she really is. And <laughs> they did it, they did it. The song, I'll give it a strong 11 out of 10. I love the song, it's so addicting. Um, it, it, it's exciting. Uh, it, it, it's very heart fluttering at the same time as well. And so, uh, I love Nog by Icheon. I love, I, I mean, I, I knew I would like this just because it's Cheon, but I didn't know I would be head over heels in love with this. I'm so in love with this. Uh, wow. Oh, Cheon just... Suhata, she 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 worked her ass off for this one. Oh wow, guys! I want to pass the question off to you guys. What did you guys think of "Knock" by Icheon? Uh, I loved it so much. It was it was so so good. Um, it was so so good. Um, something about all the Eyes One members, I all their solos. I'm like, yeah, it's good, and their comebacks. <laughs> Yuri, Yena, their comebacks are, their first comebacks are like just for me, just so like, they are like, they are shutdowns. They are shutdowns. And Cheon is no exception. Oh my goodness. Um, guys, thank you for tuning in to Knock by Yi Cheon. Uh, thank you for tuning into this reaction review. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Did you love it as much as I did? Uh, what'd you think in comparison to her debut? Um, I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Uh, once again, I will be taking a mental health break from filming uh, over the course of May. If you would like to support that, uh, please consider joining our Patreon. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hold it against you. I'm not. I'm also not saying if you don't support me monetarily, you're not supporting my mental health or my break. That's not what I'm saying at all. Uh, but I do have bills to pay. And uh, we, we did have a lot of our patrons uh, take a pause their subscriptions during this time. So um, if you would just like to support and uh, help pay some bills, uh, I, I would really appreciate it. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, you can always support our channel by just simply hitting like down below. Um, you can also uh, watch our other videos over here, uh, subscribing over here, and we'll see you in another video. I will do a listing party for this, I promise, in June, and I will ch check out bonus drops for this because Cheon, you kicked ass. You kicked ass. This was incredible. So, so good.